thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Give a portion to seven, and also to eight, for thou knowest not what evil shall be upon the earth. If the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And if the, the tree fall towards the south or towards the north, in the place where the tree falleth, there shall it be. Hallelujah. He that observeth the wind shall not sow, and he that regarded the clouds shall not what reap. As thou knowest not what is the way of the Spirit, nor how the bones of do grow in the womb, of how that is the child, even so thou knowest not the works of the God who make it all. In the morning sow thy seed, in the evening withhold not thy hand, for thou knowest not whether shall prosper, either this or that, or whether they both shall all be alike good. Truly, the light is sweet, and is pleasant thing it is for the eyes to be what? The sun. The light is what? Sweet. That is a brief sweetness. And the light is the word of God. Darkness doesn't get anything to you, but light is sweet. And brings pleasure to us. While light shatters darkness. In a world of darkness, there's affliction and sicknesses. But light will shatter such darknesses and bring you what? Deliverance. That brings joy. Hallelujah. Today, uh, the cloud we are, the cloud was sent it up. This year, rain will fall on us. The name of <laughs> Hallelujah. Shall the rain of divine power, the rain of divine riches, of wisdom, of strength, of glory, of honor, and blessing, the rain of the spirit of power, of might, understanding. Of knowledge, of cancer, and of the fear of God. Yeah. Shall follow me. Hallelujah. Yeah. Why is he of the hand of God? Hallelujah. God's hand carries his seven horns, which are what? His seven spirits. Hallelujah. So in a year, if, if you call on him, he will respond with his hand upon your life. That brings the rain of your life for the change you're looking for. So it's a wonderful year. Hallelujah. See this year shall be for me a wonderful year. Hallelujah. We have been dealing with altars since this week. Engaging the blood against altars. We went spread both altars of our villages, altars of our house, family, parents' house. Altars are, altars are the challenges of people, nations, countries, US, America, beat Europe. There is altar controlled. They are all altar controlled. There is what they call, um, there is what they call, um, 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 uh, personal altar. There's no called family altar. Hallelujah. There is the community altar, city altars, national altars, continental altars, and level one altar. That is said on himself. Where he stays. So these altars control the physical realm. And if you are not doing anything about your altar, I wonder that will be controlling your life also. There's no welcome in spirit from hallelujah. You must raise an altar to put your life together. Yes, on that altar will run your life for you. Hallelujah. Altars are not evil in the first place. They are designed, they are divine things from the beginning. So we began by this cloud because altars basically is a spiritual thing. It's, it's, it's actually divine. Before the devil came in and do what nonsense trying to do with altars now. So altars are place of prayer. Oh, they send send cl- uh, uh, cloud to God. They send things up to get cloud back. Like Job, he always sends up and he gets back what cloud of divine covering in his life. Say that even though said, I say, God, does you feel good Job, for you? Yeah, you are carrying round about his house, not even because of the cloud of the rain that comes on him by reason of what the things he sends up from altars. So all tasks have been divine from this instance, from the beginning. In fact, it's actually this God that brought the first place. It's an altar to me and pray and worship me. Altar is of God, but now it's been used by demons to operate with humans. Altar is mentioned in the Bible 364 times. Tell you how powerful that stuff is. 
In Genesis alone, it's about 10 or 8 times Genesis alone. Hallelujah. Look at some of them. Genesis chapter 3, verse, verse number 18. Let's look at that. Genesis 22, verse 9. Genesis, verse 25. Genesis 13, verse 3 and, 3, 3 and 4. You can open any of them. Genesis 8, verse number 20. Genesis 13, verse 18. These are where all things are mentioned. Hallelujah. Open to all the scriptures. Let's see a few of them. Hallelujah. Genesis 22, verse 9. 26, verse 25. 35, verse 3 to 7. Quickly, go have a long thing to go do today. I just said, we do a few scriptures. Genesis, please, if you're there. Chapter, chapter. That's the first book. It's very easy to know now. Just open the first to chapter 1 first. Then you, first, you look for the thing. It's the fastest thing to open. Give it to my, this young girl. It's like fast for us. Hallelujah. If you are there, read for us. If you are any of them, you read, just read that. No matter who's holding it, read that will give you a mind. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Genesis 22 verse 9. It says, And they came to the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there, and laid the wood in order. And bound, his, and bound Isaac, his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. Genesis 13, verse 3 13. to 4. 13, verse 3. And 4. And he went on his journey yes. from the south, yes. even to Bethel, Bethel, unto the place where he is where his tent had been at the beginning between Bethel and Hay, uh -huh. unto the place of the altar, Did you hear that? which he had made there yes. at the first. And there Abraham called on the name of the Lord. Verse 18 of it. Same 13. Then Abraham removed his tent uh -huh. and came and dwelt on the plain of Mampre, uh -huh. which is in Hebron, and built there an altar unto the Lord. Or if you Google your stuff, just type your Bible, altar, you see, unto the Lord, unto the Lord. It's not to them. <laughs> but devil began to use it now. He wants to be like God. He has always wanted to be like God. But something very important we need to look at is in Psalms 115, verse 16. 115, verse 16. Please try and follow me. Let's talk and pray. I won't be able to go details because of the time, but I'll just speak some few things about this altar stuff. I will pray, and then we are done. Psalm 105, verse 16. Verse 16. Moreover, he called for a famine unto the land. He break the... Psalm 115, verse 16. The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's. But the earth had he given what? To the children, the children of, men. of men. The heavens, even the heavens. He talk of two heavens now. Hallelujah. Don't let it distract you. Focus on what I'm saying. The heavens, that is the atmosphere that you are seeing. There, and the heavens, the one we got is at the Lord. So both that one, anyway, is it? So you say the heavens, eh? the atmosphere where this uh, wickedness dwell, And the heavens, that is the one God is, the real one, upper one, are the laws. But the earth, eh? has he what? Give what? To the sons of men. So we are the one that has here. Who are men? Those who have a spirit that has a soul mind and this what in the body so any spirit here including god that comes here is illegal on this earth it's supposed to be here god sits in heaven he stays in heaven so every other spirit the devil you know how he came from heaven i was saying in religion 12 where they he said and there was war in heaven religion 12 from verse 1 to 11 when they wanted to become, when they, they deceived the people in the heavens, and there was war. Bible says, and he was cast down, and his angels what with him. And these are spirits; they have nobody. Hallelujah! Amen. And by that divine command, by that divine command, eh, every spirit on earth is restless. It's like you in a place. Of intense heat, oh, and it's like you in an oven. Because oven is not made for human beings. Is that true? So, but if you go there by force, you feel terrible heat, like prison too. So every spirit that stays here by this law is restless. Why? Because the divine law doesn't permit the existence here. 
So they are not settled. They are always tense. They are always in, in, in they are always in pain. Either they are heat or they are they are not. It's like like it's like putting acid. They are like an, an acid. But we humans are the ones that talk over here. See my father, my God. I take to me the name of Hallelujah. One man in the village was the Christian. There's a place they don't let people don't pass. They say spirits are there. The man caught this understanding when they went to church. He passed there. And he's making some noise. He said, I'm a human being. I'm not supposed to be in this earth. I said, The noise ceased. Now, this is the place everybody was scared of. He's not a the man, is not a very good Christian. He just had the church and they say, Human is OZS, so the devil don't have right over his head. That's all he had. He had. And he began to engage it. He went to the road to engage it. And the noise, he passed. And when he was over, because he, he knew something, they were surprised he knew that kind of thing. So they look, this place belongs to human beings. You don't have right to do nonsense here. And they were, they was quiet. Why? Not because they, are, they were not powerful, but they, they were surprised it, it came from a man like that. How did he do this kind of thing? So they call, I said, he come, I'll fight you, because I'll be charged here. He said, so, so you are the one meant to be here. The spirits are illegal here. That's where altar comes in now. By this scripture, God says, I am not to come to the earth. He made the earth. After making the earth, he forms an Eden. So he Eden. And place what? Adam there. Are you here? Eden now becomes what? The embassy of heaven on earth. Some say embassy. Embassy. Think of Think of embassy for a few minutes before we continue. What, was it, what happens in the embassy? Embassy. U.S. Embassy. What happens there? Just think of the embassy before we continue again. Where you are going, what do you go to do in the embassy? Are you here? Let's continue now. Now, he said, he said the earth what? Belongs to what? No. The heavens, even the heavens are the Lord's, but the earth had what? He gave the what? Children of men. So we human beings are the one to occupy here. Eh? But the earth controls the heaven in this matter. Whatever you shall bind what? On earth. Shall what? Be bound what? In heaven. Is that not control? If you shall say, if you shall, if you shall get it, as it on earth, shall be done what? In is that not control? That's the power you have, which as a church. That is the power we control. Because we are human beings. We are, we are not spirits. I mean, we are human. We are human spirits. We are the ones that will be here. We have authority here. All those flower banana, they go. They don't know who you. They know you. Know, you are not. If you know who you are, they don't flower banana mix you up at all. You can't. You can't. That's what that demon came on. I do. I relax because I'm the. I'm not. I'm here, and I know my time here is one twenty years. So when he wrapped me, and when he finished, he left by himself. I didn't pray. I didn't begin to pray because the, I saw that he say he says in Genesis three, eh? it says verse three. He says he says I will no longer strive what with men, but their days shall be what one to the and he put the what in, in Moses' life. He saw Moses. He was one twenty years old and his eyes was not dim or force abated. He now left. Now. To follow make me live this life, man. Eh? Jesus had to die at age 33. 33. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So he's, he was cut short in age to give me that long life, 20 years. Jesus was cut short in age. He died at his prime age. So today I stand here in this season of prayer to together every untimely death in your life and family has ended in the name of ended, hallelujah. Ended, ended, hallelujah. Ended, ended. See, we both ended, ended. The name of hallelujah. Ended. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. So I and they, God give me, we have the seed of the blood. Some Timely that is cost lies in the name of Hallelujah. This seed is based on the revelation that he died at a straight He poured his soul onto death at young age. 
that my blood will be retained for 100 years in me. To keep my blood flow working in me for 100 years. He has to discharge his blood out. To retain my blood in me alive for 100 years. And prove the word with Moses. He said, Moses said, eh, a prophet like me shall the Lord give thee. Equating two of them together. That is, that means, that means Christ is supposed to live more than in the real sense. So, a, a, he said, a prophet like me shall the Lord give you. Him shall you hear. Talking about just Christ. Moses and what? Just Christ. Moses came to the earth and brought, and when he was born, they began to kill children. Just Christ came. What? Well, please don't, focus, 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 focus. They began to kill children. Are you happy? Are, are you here at all? So that is their similarity. You get the point? And Moses delivered Israel with what? With, with, with blood. God did all signs wonder. Nothing they happen. Did they happen? No. Until the blood came. What happened? They were released. Now, Jesus came with, say what? His own blood. What for? Say what? Deliverance purpose from the pit. As for thee, also by the blood of thy covenant, I brought that what? Your prisoner for the pit out of us. Now, 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 the Egypt is the pit also alone. So Moses, like just Christ, used blood of cows and goats to bring out of the pit of what? Physical pit of Egypt. Do not go down to what? Egypt. Genesis 3. It's a pit. He said, and Moses came up out of a pit. Egypt. Genesis 3. One, Genesis 3, 31 to 3. That means they have similarities. So this one now, to make us live like the first Moses, he had to die at three years old. He was cut short. So on timely death, he's therefore caused this mystery in the name of Thank you, Lord. Is it the he? Is it the he? So we now hold our life in our hands. How? We live through Christ. The old man, he lived through other human beings. Some sleep with younger ladies to take their life from them. It's a, it's a, it's a sin. Some old men in, in their village, they say, we call it in our place, we call it the he. They hold their life in their hands. They can't die. I said they cut that and they call it the he. One was very old and was dying. He couldn't die. The guy was still breathing. He would have not eaten for two. He was still breathing. And they had to go and beg the elder sister, who was also very old, who went to do incantation and brought some things and broke it. And he died immediately. He will not die. What is the sign they use to do that kind of thing? If they can do it, why can't we do it by divine, by divine authority? That means... That means you are not supposed to drop until it is time to drop. Demons, which time they hold their life in your hands? What do they call it? Day? So one day I will give you the date when I when I check my notes. Is that date? He said, "Put the blood." I put the blood on my forehead. He said, "Beginning from now, is called this is divine word." It day. That means as long as this blood is on your forehead, you will not see death. When you are, if Christ started, when you are old and you gather your children together and talk to them, when you are done, you remove the blood, then you, 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 you say, So I decree against this altar. On time, let's cause the name of the blood. By the blood of by, what? by the word of God. Say, when I see what happened, I will pass over you when I see the blood. So I said, Embassy, are you here at all? So, Hey. All of them, embassy do. Embassy bring what the country in the nation. Abi, yes. If you go to German embassy now and shoot the gun, you have it's a war against Germany. You go there to negotiate how to go to what Germany. Negotiate it. So, all tasks are like what embassies. When you negotiate. For spirits to come to your aid in the physical world, they have no right in the spirit world. In the physical world, they can't come in because they are spirits. From this scripture we read now, it's for the sons of men. So God cannot. Bible say He exalt His sword above what above all of what His names. So even God can't help you because He cannot come to the earth. It's illegal for Him to come. Angels can't come. It's illegal. So it is on the altar. Eh? It's the embassy we go to negotiate their entrance. I give you a visa to come fight for me. My God. 
there is a war going on and uh, and then uh, and then uh, they say they need to evacuate some in in it and even when they evacuate go Nigeria has to give the uh, space to come in if there's war in Nigeria and US want to come and carry the people they still have to give them authority to come in entrance so na- so God says bring your what strong what reasons are you here at all you go to his embassy, they won't give you visa. I said, you come with your strong word. Reason why you must go to what? America. So your prayer is the time of the strong reason. Gathering the points and the facts. Why God must enter this realm with his angels to fight your battles. I'll make you free. So Adam also was the garden of Eden. Why? Because God's plan was to bring heaven to the earth. Are you at all? Thy will be done what? On earth as what? It is in heaven. So all his plan was to bring what? His will to the earth. So he made Adam on the heaven to do that for him. But he brought his wife and joined him. And to the wife, there was an error. And the altar of the devil was formed in that garden of Eden. Where he has no right to enter and do what he wants in the physical world. He didn't have that kind of right before. No. When he formed his own altar in man, huh? he could also form what? On the land. Couldn't form the thing on Eden. But when they chased man out, he was the place where the devil could also form what? A physical altar to operate with. Are you here at all? So, this is what out of the Covenant Church, where we come to negotiate with God to come down. Fight about. We here make angels come down to go fight in our villages. We, by praying, we bring reason to follow you said in your war. That is, we're negotiating now. If we shall call, you answer. So, that after what happens, he comes down. And can, why? By that, com, by that, that, by that entrance, he enters and wars and then descend, goes back again. And it scatters. Now, this end time, hmm? he wants to raise men, prayer men, who he will ride on, eh? In, back into this earth, to fill the earth and destroy the devil that raised on this earth. You, you now understand what altar is? Eh? Yes. So, altars are places where spirits are trapped for discussion. You didn't hear me. So, they, are, they can't move. They, are, they can't. They, now, if you that's you now, there's a, a spirit standing that way. They stand. They're everywhere moving, but you can't see them or talk to them to help you or do or do anything. It's an altar. Eh? You negotiate with them. Because an altar. Eh? You now they now give you and they each person in the community has their own house, family, and they have their own what altar there. So there's one I control what the whole community. Embassy. So your family altar is where the trap spirits that control what your family as a whole. So if the, if your father dies, nobody starts it, and the spirit will still come up and go back to the old covenant and see your father said to me, "I'm my own." Oh, he called me by incantation and spoke with me that I should help him in the war. I went to war with your father and I won for him. And he said, All the female will not marry. All the male must die at 40. And he agreed. So I said, In war, why are you alive after 40? You can't be alive. It's not possible. He has to kill. And as a legal right to kill because he was invited by, he, he, so he, come, he comes to the earth. Then he's, not, he's, not, he's not supposed to come. But by that, that right he now enters. You go to a job, you go to get a job, he follows you. Because he has legal, he has had the reason, legal rights. Make to labaya. Every evil altar. Every evil altar. Pardon of please make it my life. Die, my God. My God. My God. Embassy. My God. My God. So you are going to get a job. He's following you. They, they cast him out. They say no. Legal right. 
No, you can't. No, no, no. The father said to me, my God. The father said to me, the mother said to me that, that they, that, that they should serve me all their life or they'll die at 40. So I, I'm here to carry out my assignment. They must die at 40. So you have to lift up the blood. You have to lift up the blood against such others that troubles your home. Troubles your brothers and not tell the devil. Power by unclean spirits, making demands against them, fighting their favor, fighting their helpers, because our father made covenants with devils. Oh my God! Have mercy, your God! Have mercy, your God! We are not there. Have mercy, O God. Have mercy, O God. Have mercy. They negotiate in the altars. So the spirit who are not supposed to come to the physical world now comes. Maliko to Labaya. The angel came from heaven when Christ died. Why? You know why? Christ has made an altar. The altar of the cross is the highest altar, and he said, When it was raised. <laughs> Angel began to come down with ease for him. So angels came from heaven, boom, and wood the stone. Because an altar has been raised. That gave them legal to enter the like. So he came down, Bible says he came down and grim and rolled away the stones. Because Christ raised an altar of the cross for his help. Heavenly helps. Altars. Grace patterns. The power patterns. When they negotiate that, it becomes they set the pattern. Anything your father, your parents tell them, they work with that. So as long as father is there, giving them the blood they want, or they want, they will be they will realize they are fighting the war for him, they are helping him on the agreement, based on agreement. When he dies, nobody's going to serve it. Ah. He waits for a while, he sees the sun going, not it's not coming. Ah. And after a while, he's going to ask the question. Like that. The day your father not tell you, oh my God. That he has to go to his house. Altars are a place of negotiation for spirits to have access to what to the physical world. Why? By this thing we read earlier, eh? What for only what? Sons of what? Sons of men. So because it's that what happened? Each time a demon is not in, in anybody's body, he's restless. It's like torture, heat, hot, he's restless. He said, so that's why to cast him as good before, he will cry. Each time they cast that demon, Christ, what happened? The said, and the demon will tear him and they leave. Why? He's about to enter into a realm where what? He's restless. Bible say, when a spirit leads to him, what happened? It turned what? In what? In wilderness. What's wilderness? Dryness, pain, torture. Dryness, no water. Test, pain, torture. He travels in dry state, painful state. After a while, in that torture, he will say, let me return and check. That my AC, please. And check. That my AC, please. If you see there. And when it comes, it's empty and garnished. I will say, he goes to get more. Are you here suffering? Come. There's a home to say. Are you, are you here? No, you. Uh, Adoko. No, it comes and it you. Come, come. They say, I have a new home now. It's empty. And they come and they occupy. I will say, the old state will be worse than one. The first state. They are unclean spirits. Have no right to stay. So the assignment of altar is to give what? Access to what? Unclean spirit to the world. Access to spirit, whether they are clean or unclean. Altars are raised to communicate with spirits for help. To make war. So in those days in Africa, when there was so much war, people are dying, they had to go and meet, communicate what? with what? With demons. Are you here at all? And negotiate with them. And there is altar for them. Say this war, they will kill us. They, they, they will kill us. So, what do you say? God, God, let's go and communicate. So they went to, to, to people who know how to communicate with spirits. Out, and they raised altar for them. And spirits came down to fight the battle for them. That's why I see some people, they go to war. Eh? They are not tired. The guy sleeps 30 to 50. The spirit enters to fight through him. When he comes back, he makes a main negotiation. I've killed for you. I've helped you. What do you give to me? He said, well, anything you want, sir. It's okay. I want your, your first male children sacrificed to me every two years. He says, it's done, sir. 
That's why you see some land, even the East, those days, they will say a stone for what this family to bring what? A boy. Have you heard that name for? They say, no, no. It is a stone for this family to bring their male child. You know why it sort of a stone fall apart? That's what happened now. It came from now. It was time. So the word, they say, say, do not take her in it. So because you call the word a father. So the demon that helped them has given us the demand in the negotiation of the embassy of the altar. That's what our parents did. That's what they have. That's why they fight you. They fight you. You pray and pray. And your prayer is not working. It's on legal ground. He said, he said, shall the captive be delivered? The lawful captive. It's called lawful captive. He said, he can be delivered by high altar. I will get the national name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the altar is where God makes demands. Where spirits agree with men to work for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, what is the difference of such altars? Either is, wait, now, let me look at, look at this. So, Sometimes when you see yourself, your life work. Have you seen some people like that? Everything works for them. That is, anything works for them. You, you, that is, he's not a Christian, no. He's not a Christian, no. But you see him, if, every, everywhere in the office, they will call him first. You that's a Christian fasting, they've not called you. The guy, anything works for him. For him from school, everything works for him. You know why? It's an altar power in his life. They, somebody's giving something to an altar that's power in his life. Because they work either for favor of what? Or against, based on what the, what the, the negotiation. They work against or for, based on what the negotiation. Once you nego- your parents negotiate for you and say, I want my son to become a social person, governor. You say, no problem. What do, you, what do I do? I, what, what can I do? I want them to go governor. So they bring seven female virgins. Bring 14 male virgins. So they count it, then it becomes a governor. So when you share, when you bring us to the altar and you use it to negotiate, they'll tell you what, they, what to do next. I see the guy become governor. Except a higher force. Eh? Content with that governor. Eh? That stronger was from a stronger altar. Then he, he brought down. He'll come back and say, What happened? He said, No, that one is a higher force. He went to Susan number of, of blood. It's higher than me. That's why he, he was considered. It starts as the altar to what? Altar. The stronger takes it. That's how we began to increase this, the temple here. What happened? We're going we're, 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 we're to have breakthrough. Essentials because of the temple has been increased here. Because altar, when it gets stronger, it affects what? The people of the church also get stronger. Receive the name of God. Hallelujah. So, misfortunes, evil patterns, happens by altars. Why? They negotiate for, with the fathers, negotiate with the altars. And based on what they negotiate there, they bring out what that pattern. Are you here at all? Yes, very simple. That's what evil, evil patterns are about. When the father says they should kill them at 20. Is that, is that a pattern? They die what? At 20. That's the, that's, the, that's the pattern. Because it's in the word, negotiate the word at the altar. So my father, my God. Oh, Every negotiation on, on the altar. Every on the my father's altar. house. My father's Walking against my life. I raise blood now, Lord. That, that negotiation. I send for the blood. I send for the blood. Back in time. Where it was negotiated. And I cancel it now. Cancel it now. Pray, pray, Morocco, I cancel it now. We cancel that negotiation of God. We reverse it in our favor right now. Send for the blood but from this altar, altar, altar. We send for the blood back in time, back in time. Where every, 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 where every the cost of Bayard negotiation took place. Negotiation, we cancel those negotiations of God and turn it in our favor. They turn it in our favor right now, Lord, by the voice of the blood. The blood goes say it is finished. We send the blood back in time to say it is finished. And to cast them right now. In the name of Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, I turn up Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. So you can, it's not by chance. When you see people doing very well in this school, everything just walking after a month, everything big. You see those guys that are like, well, it's poor. The guy came, okay, the guy said to me, said the, said the, said the, said the guy, he saw the, 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 the husband and I got to the child's house. And there was a room, it doesn't open. When he broke into the room, he saw the, mo- the wife, that the mother of the boy, for, for meeting money. Why? Altar negotiation. Said he wants his mother. Abi? He agreed. Give up on The money began to come. Because they you know the spirit, eh? Money is nothing. Nothing to them. Negotiate, you have it. But at your expense. 
When you see life going very easy for you, please check very well. If your parents are the one working it for you, or God. There are fewer than a lot of God. That is, someone's working it for you for a reason. I have a lady who is married to someone I know. Eh? The mother vowed that the guy will be one taking charge of your house. So there was a, there was utter negotiation. What must I do to keep my daughter in this job? This judge, you can start. I don't want to sack him because give me a toast to eat. Eh, okay, do this, do this. You negotiate with the daughter. Now, what was the plan? The spirit now moves to follow the girl up and down in the office. You can't sack her, and the husband cannot be above her. Once he's above her, he will lose his job, or he dies. He choose one. So what is fighting is not, is not, is not. It's not friends, it's fight an altar. But he married the wrong person. The wrong altar. It's not even wrong. If God, if God knows that you can have that kind of That's why he gave you that. I told my wife that the reason why we go married is because God knows that two of us can agree and bring the altars in our families. That's why you're going to no, so no, You can't blame me, I can't blame her. He has her own. We all have our own. But don't look at, don't say my, this one is worse. No. You are joined to agree to say no. What we met here must die. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. What we made from destroyed. So all this pain is altar based. The spirit has no right to come and set through an altar to enter. That's the embassy to enter. They can't come. They can pass you now. Spirit, a lot, now, why is that a, a, people die at 40, Abby? You are you not dying because they don't have anything to do with you. I get the point? They will see you. They can't touch. They, they, it won't work because there's no contact, no covenant. They will hit you. It won't work. They will hit you. They will pass through you. I get the point? They will pass through you. They can't. Talk, they try. They can't hit you. The spirit will pass through you. It's part, people are walking. Spirits are walking, but they can't. You can't see them. They will pass through. But if they know you, they will stop. They will come to enter. But based on the altar, they can beat you. They are always passing in pain and in torture. But they can't touch you if there's no right to touch you. And that right from an altar to touch you. I decree today, like I prayed earlier, every altar by your color. I mean, every covenant that is giving altars of evil and demons legal right for our torture will lift up the covenant of the blood. We raise the new covenant in Christ, in Christ's blood. Again, right now, pray the Holy Ghost. Shadrach, Katu, Kolabaya. Every covenant, every covenant that powers and gives to God, demons and authors, legalize again my life of God, be destroyed, be broken, be broken. Break! Covenant break. Be broken, 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 be broken. Be bro- break broken, 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 and about broken, broken. And we are raised up in the name of Hallelujah, Lord. Legal right, they are everywhere moving. They can't touch you. They can't they, near you. They see the path. They just like this because they have access. No, no, no command to hold them. They can cock you and enter because it's a speed. They, they just pass your body like this. Because nothing makes you gives them access to your life. No access at all. Because no corners at work. My God. Altar is a place of what? A place of what? Negotiation. So, altar brings what? Delay. That's where others come from. Are you here at all? So, let me, let, I don't want to go further now. Let me just stop then. Now, furthermore, furthermore, altars are powered by sacrifice. There's a priest in an altar, there's a sacrifice. So when you come, they tell you what to bring. The priest will go and talk. The priest was who will now uh, who is on the altar, negotiate into the realm of spirit and discover the spirit there. This person is my client. He says he wants so and so. You get the point? And of course he negotiates and then he tells you what to bring. And he brings it and the priest carries out what the whole thing and he settled. The priest want the priest now becomes what? The 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 witness between the man and what and the God. Are you here at all? Yes. The witness between the man and the God. And the earth also. Are you here at all? Why? Bible say, my tongue is what? The pen of what? So, why they were talking, they, they are writing, writing it on earth. If, so if the matter goes to US, as earth in the US, it will, it will, it will appear. No, there, there's no sense in the spirit, 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 spirit. So once they say, this one, it, 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 it's there on the floor. 
What they wrote in, wrote in your village will appear there in the floor. Of course, it's earth, earth is earth. He said, look at it, look at it. They'll see there. Your father said this and this. Because your mind was dependent on what of a ready writer. Please try and get this thing to pray with his hallelujah. That's what I say, you're already free. He said, he said, he said I've not seen that, I've not seen a year like this, but I'll tell you the truth. Man, listen. So, a place to negotiate and sacrifice. There, you know, Balaam, Balaam, Balak. He said, bring seven what? Raise seven altars. Bring me seven bullocks. A blow for, a bullock for an altar. No altar works without blood. The power of altar is blood. That's why he comes to say, I want myself to be governor. Abi? And the, he said, business, business, and when he goes, someone else comes and fight because the governor. He said, what happened? He said, because I want a stronger altar than my own. Why? It's a higher blood there. Now, there are two altars in opposing angle. The altar of God and what? The other devil. Two altars in opposite angle. The altar of God so they can, they, they can marry in their altars. You know, they can do marriage in altars. They don't do marry people in the altar here. Yeah, so they can also marry the spirit, the spirit of the marry in their own altar. So the altar because what they are, the witness and those who were there to fight against your marriage, your own physical marriage too, right? You already married somewhere. The devil is a liar. You are free to see, I'm telling you the truth. So altars are part with blood. We saw numbers 23. He said he should go and bring what bullocks for each of the altar. Hallelujah. When David has, when David sinned, eh, God could not come. God wanted to judge him. He raised an altar of blood. When God now came, God reversed the offering. Because the altar is saved by blood for the spirit to now manifest. No blood, no, no, no response at all. The blood is needed for them to respond. Numbers 23. I start from verse 1. And Balaam said unto Balaam, Build me what? Here, seven altars. Are you here at all? And prepare me here, seven horses. Abi? Seven what? Rams. Seven altars. Seven what? Horses. Seven rams. Each altar, a ram and what? An horse. Every altar is powered with blood. Every altar. It's power with blood. There is altar of the earth. Eh? And altar of what? Of the heavenlies. Hallelujah. Now, let's go to the altar of the earth. I want to, because of time, I don't, I don't I, I'm jumping a lot, I want to join a lot. But now, because of the time, the altar of the earth, My God, my shadow kalabanda is saying. Lege be subra kalabanda say she bahasus. God have mercy. God have mercy. God's altar is highest altar on earth. It's called the altar of the cross. So is it the cross? That brazen altar is where Christ shed his blood. And once and for all, and it's the highest blood on earth. So any altar that is serviced by that blood is the highest altar on earth. And they are one and the same. So the altar of living faith church, any church altar is what powered by one altar, the altar of the cross. That's why church what is the what is the highest altar. Are you here at all? Church, church what the highest altar in the earth. Every holy ghost altar is the highest altar. They are the same, even if they are different locations. You know what I was saying in the New Testament? Eh? He said, then they used to go to this to go and worship him. He said, time shall come. Eh? Eh? They will worship God anywhere. Just because I talking about the anywhere. So, we are not in a time where you can worship God from anywhere. You can raise an altar anywhere. Are you here at all? Yes. Altar prayer. Even you, you, are, you are, see yourself, you are not, you're an altar. So, there's altar. There's altar of the earth and heaven. The earth altar, you have earth, all those demonic altars, they are all on the earth. They are all of the earth. But the highest one, divine word, is the altar of what? The cross. Are you here at all? Yes. That's the altar of all altars on earth. Then the heavenlies, that's the main one there. It's called the altar of grace. 
is called God's true room where he sits down. It's an altar. God sits as, as a God. So his seat is the altar. He sits on it as a spirit. Just like you now come to a little doctor, eh? And the spirit, you can't see it, eh? But it sits there. So God now is a spirit, you can't see it, but that's why he sits there on his altar. The altar is a spirit altar and what he is spirit being. So spirit altar and what spirit being? That's the altar of God. It's called the altar of grace. It's the highest altar everywhere. It's the highest altar of all. That's why from that place, eh? He, he controls everything from that place, the highest altar from there. That's why if you give your life to Christ anywhere in the world, it's acceptable. It connects streets. Why? It's the highest altar. Once you, and there, any law that comes from that place is the highest law. Are you at all? And the law says, eh, if any man shall call on the name of the Lord, it shall be saved. Are you get the ball? So once this happens, you are saved automatically because the altar powers that, that, that word. Just like evil altar powers evil, evil words to fight you. That is powered from the throne of grace. Every word of God is powerful that altar of grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, altar of Satan is powered by the, the works of darkness powered one, just one altar. Altar of Satan, what? And iniquity. Hallelujah. Are you here at all? The altar of God is power of righteousness. Power of Christ's blood. Where God sits on the throne. But the altar of devil is power what? With sin and what? Iniquity. It's called the altar of sin and what? Iniquity. The altar of sin and what? Iniquity. Sin is what? Physical. Errors. Physical error you do. But iniquity what? Is a mystery. Look at me. Look up. Two altars now. One that can be in your life, which is your blood. Are you at all? One that can be outward. Physical error. Physical sins. Control by what? That by the inner one. Now, God made the earth and planted the garden of Eden. Are you here at all? And put Adam there as a son. After our years, now made a woman. We were looking for a man to be alone. The woman that came. <clears throat> when the woman that came, the devil said that I came to tempt her. He didn't come in the devil. We didn't, why didn't he come when Adam was there? Because Adam was a complete person. He can't be deceived. He, he's God. He, he, knows, he knows he's God. If you go, you'll be laughing, laughing at him because he knows who he is. But when the woman was brought to him, it was a weaker. Weaker mean it was weaker in knowledge. He doesn't have the full knowledge that the man has. So when he comes out there, this is the person to use to get at this man. Just knowledge difference. So he entered through the woman and received them. Yeah? So two others were raised now. Out of disobedience, that's sin. Out of sin, disobedience. You get the point? Out of what disobedience? Now, what does that? What does it power? A power, the speed of death. He said to them, "The day ye shall eat, what? what? You shall what? Surely die." So that altar was not working until they ate the fruit. So that altar was not raised against them. Are you here at all? They began to die. Man began to die. Now, when they gave the fruit, also he raised an altar inside of them. Are you here? Yes. You are. You are. You actually. You are like a shrine. <laughs> This communion, you are serving an altar. God is in you. You are serving the God in you by the blood of Jesus Christ. You are, you are actually an, you, are, you are a deity. You are a kingdom principality. Ah, yeah. That's when, when that woman saw me, he took off. He saw something that he couldn't stand. He left. So, when he gave them, gave them the, the fruit, the body and the liquid of the fruit, liquid is the drink, and the body of the apple what, is the fruit. So, he now raised what? Is altar in their body inside of them. Are you here at all? So you and I began to pray from inside of them. So God left. God was on the throne of man before, as the as the one on the altar of man. When they obeyed sin, sin eh? he left, and a new person sat there with Satan. Altar of sin and what iniquity. The sin is the disobedience. Are you here at all? Why the iniquity word is the one that entered their blood? It's a mystery. It's called the Old Testament. <laughs> so when he gave them the communion, he gave them his nature of arrogance, of stubbornness, of disobedience. Why? Because he wants to form a system. Listen, listen very well. A system of what? Long-term control. The man ends, the man ends this one. Look at what he's doing. 
So by that blood altar, eh, he starts a man, eh, as you give birth, it's from, they give, if you, if you enter, if you give entry, it will duplicate demons. So anybody that's not born again has demons on their altar, resting like this on their, 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 their uh, demons are then control. So with that now, he controls the race of this earth. By that, by that, it got to feed them in their blood. So by that now, naturally, they obey him. You know what? The Bible say that the one you, the one you choose to obey, eh, is your God. Abi? So, if you obey sin, eh, unto death, eh, or, rationally, unto, unto what? Unto life. So, by that mystery, eh, your ability not to sin was taken from you. Did you get burnt? So, uh, you perpetually be what? In sin. What do you mean by that? You perpetually be what? In control of you. Because if you use you to sin, eh, you are, you are, you are about to walk to Satan. So by that control, you are perpetually what, and your children what, are in sin, and so they are under what, the devil. You see the control? By that altar, every child that nobody again is under that control of himself, because Satan lives in them. He duplicates demons. Just like now, each altar now have, everyone that have demons, have he? Yes. They have human altars. Listen very well. There are human altars. There are physical altars, like you have seen in the, um, um, you see like here now, physical altar, this altar here, physical, but the spiritual dimension of it. Now, the, the so-called spiritual word, altar. Human is the one you are car- carrying God inside of you. Like, like Adam was carrying God, but when he sinned, God left heaven, sin and one took over his, his life. So each time God called a meeting for, for sons of God, he, the Satan will come as man, not as Satan of God, they will, they will let him enter. He will come as what? As man. Because he's now the one, he has taken over the man's seat. So they come for any meeting, he will go there as man. So with that now, he, he go, that's why I say, I go to and fro what the earth, why? Because I'm now become man who has right to be here. Are you get the point? So see, that's how he got power to be in this earth. Move in as he likes. Because he's now man, he took over. But when Jesus came, raised on the altar of the cross, he broke it. And they overcame him, what? By the blood. We conquer his power over our life by the blood. Either Satan came about to control iniquity and sin, disobedience. The author of sin and what? And iniquity. That's what runs the world today. today. That's why there is stubbornness everywhere against God. It's in their blood. It's in their blood. They don't, they don't like church. It's in their blood. They like sin. It's in their blood. Naturally, eh, people, women like to dress naked if you allow them. That is, except because they are Christians. They try to hold it back. Are you at all? As a guy, you want to dress with a woman, a woman will be attracted to you. That's our nature. It's not that they are, they are begging you. If they leave you as a person, as a lady, you want to dress naked. You want to show your figures. It's natural. As a man, you want to show your bicep. You want to build up. It's, that's who we are to attract what iniquity. That's what, that's who we are. But when you are born again, this thing begins to alter. As your blood is altered, you're also altered. Because there was an altar in you before that God occupied. Now, Satan occupies there now. Until you're born again, there was a change, a switch. So the day you gave your life to Christ, God came back and took back his place in your life. It's what? Duplicate of what? Or the one in heaven? Are you here at all? There's a big one in heaven where all of God and the church is there. Are you here at all? So now your life now, he gets a smaller one now, a duplicate. Same altar. Are you here? You remember Papa said that God said to him that the, a, a splinter house fell from heaven eh? and fell on what? The center. And he broke to smaller and smaller pieces. But same power in the center eh? was what? At the all. The same way, eh? when you give your life to Christ, Eh? The altar in heaven also breaks in pieces eh? into your your altar door. So God has different Himself, doing what in many people now as Christians, just like Adam used to be, carrying what God's altar. If you are not carrying His altar, eh? you're not this. So there's what there's there's what there's human altar. There is physical altar. There's what spiritual altar. Two spirit altars, true of God, the one in your heart, and the one that was raised by, by the, the, the one that's raised in the altar, uh, I mean, the, the, the Calvary cross. These three altars of God divine. Then they have the satanic altar, the altar of what's in our what? Iniquity. 
Hallelujah. This year is your year. Hallelujah. By those prayers we prayed earlier, every all that in your life, they will buy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. They will buy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. They will buy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. They will buy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we are here to read what? To repair our altar. Are you here at all? Yes. For God, for fire to fall down. Because they will not, they will not bow to your God as a fire falls. Are you here? Second case, first king 18. He said, and the fire fell when they said, the Lord the Lord is God. The Lord is God. Why? Because they repaired the altar that was broken. Each time your altar is broken, eh? you are weak spiritually. Why was the altar of Baal dominating in, um, in Israel then? Because the altar of God, God was broken. I hear though. The altar of Baal in that first king, eh, was in control by Jezebel because the altar of God was, was broken. So the first thing to do was, as for Elijah, is to what? Repair what? The altar of God. To bring back God to his throne again on Israel. To shut down Baal completely. Are you here at all? So in your family, the reason why the altar of God is down because the altar of Baal what? Is up. The reason why your life, the altar of Baal is up because the altar of God what? Is down. No vacuum in the realm of spirit. If your altar of God is down, what happened? Altar of Baal will be up. If you broke down your altar of God, what happened? Altar of Baal will be up. The reason why the altar of, the altar of Baal reigned was because the altar of God was broken to pieces. So Elias said, let's, let's say, he said, when the face said, repair the altar now. How do you repair the altar? As a person. If your altar is broken, how do you repair it? Number one. Eh? He said, set 12 stones. Are you here at all? What are 12 stones? The word of God. The altar returns to what? A place of what? Value of the word of God. Hallelujah. One return. Repair of the altar. Go back to the word of God. Return back to value what? For what? For the word of God. Are you here at all? He took, he took 12 stones and laid down. Value for the word of God. Return back to the value of the word. Don't despise the word of God. First thing to repair the altar of your life is return back to the word of God. He took 12 stones. That is first king one. It's in a Yes. He took 12 stones. Eh? And laid, laid around the altar. Number two is sacrifice. To repair the altar of, altar of sin. If your altar is broken down, to repair it. To sacrifice. There are three levels of, three levels of sacrifice. Number one, praise and worship. Hebrews 12, 15. He said that we may render what sacrifice, sacrifice of praise unto God. That you don't want to pray, but you're praising God. The war against other altars are making your life miserable. But you need your praising God. Somebody came when he has tried all come. Nobody gave me. He didn't get a job. Huh? He didn't get a job. So one day, Papa said, he said he had a message. He said, go and dance. And he went to be dancing. He said, in that position, he said, I can't be praising God. This can't condition. God, see me now. What are we praise for? But his Bible said, he obeyed the piano dance. He said, he obeyed the piano dance. As he dance, dancing, dance, as he came out that day, he got a job. Somebody called him. You know, he went out and they said, can you market? He said, yes, I don't get a job now. He took Martina and began to market the thing. In, so I think Cardinal also. So I was marketing Nana. One day, as I was doing it joyfully, it's that week of dancing and praising God. He was doing the same prayer. He came back home and began to dance around the Martina. As he went that day again, eh, he, the, the manager of the company around was driving past the street where he was carrying Martina. And he was doing the sighting, the, 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 the just back at Martina. He said, Come here, who are you? Man? I was a graduate. That's how he got a, a, a very big job in the company. Why? In the midst, it was sacrifice of praise. So what happened? The altar of God came alive. How to be the altar of God? One, the, return to the value of the word of God. Return back to what? To sacrifice of praise. Give God praise. What are you are feeling? Regardless of how you feel, give God praise. It's called praise sacrifice. Praise, praise sacrifice. Number three. Eh? Number three. No, I mean, number two. For your personal body sacrifice. Your body. Yes. Romans 12 verse 1. He say, Romans 12, Romans 12, let's say, you give yourself a sacrifice to serve God. Don't hold back from going when it comes to service. Don't hold back at all. Give all to God. 
that's how to what build an altar of God. Be, make yourself an altar of God. Romans one verse Romans Romans what? Twelve verse what? Verse one. Let's go there. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, brethren yes. by the mercies of God, mm-hmm. that he present your bodies a living sacrifice, Did you hear that? holy, acceptable unto God, Hallelujah. which is your reasonable service. So, if you are a fornicator, what happened? You are, what's in you? The altar of what sin and what? Iniquity. That's what's in you. Are you at all? You have turned his temple to an altar of what sin and what? Iniquity. You have broken what? The altar of God. Each time you break down the altar of God, what happened? Bad takes over immediately. What does say what? Iniquity. So if you are a smoker, you are corrupting God's body. If you are a drunkard, you are corrupting. So all this is a common the altar of what? Sin and what? I told about, about, about a, a, a neighbor. I had a neighbor one time. We lived together. A neighbor. And I, I didn't know he was a drunkard. I, I, I didn't know he drinks. One day I had a dream. Eh? I saw that there are two demons carrying cigarettes and alcohol flowing up and down. I said, but this guy does not drink. What kind of dream is this? So one day I came back home late around 8 o'clock. I saw the younger brother on, under my car. I came there, he was many, he was many he, he alcohol. He was with only pant. The bra pushed him out of the house. So he fell under my, my car. I said, What's wrong? So I went, uh, uh, This man, I know this came. I said, I said, Don't mind that idiot. A drunkard. So I said, ah, I said, that, that my dream actually true. It's in their lineage. Drunkenness. And then, not quite long, while they party in the, in, the, in, the, in the compound, when I saw the guy on Hennekin, you know, these hard, hard drinks, the bottles, they, the, the only three, the, about 12 bottles of strong drinks. And the, the helicopter, I say, do this guy doing like this? That's in my soul. The out of what? Drunkenness. Out of what? Iniquity. In that state, what? You can't have God. You can't, you can't be an out of God. Are you at all? Yes. That's an out of bar. And where God is broken up on, out of bar what? Will reign. I get the point? So when the out of God is down, out of bar must reign. So what, what sort of other bar? Drunkenness, fornication, adultery, anger. These are all thoughts of bar. Number one, I say, you do what? Praise and worship. Eh? We bring, we build up the earth of God. Hallelujah. Number two, yourself, sanctify yourself unto God. Be conscious about it. Avoid iniquity. We take the communion regularly. The body is the one to cleanse your mouth. As I had, cool of fire. Sanctify your body and keep what as God's altar always. Don't bring down the altar. Say, I will not bring down the altar of God. Hallelujah. Number C, number three. Eh? Prayer sacrifice. Are you at all? Yes. Prayer what? Sacrifice. Prayer what? Sacrifice. Prayer what? Sacrifice. Prayer what? Sacrifice. Well, Christ rose from the dead. Eh? When, he, when he came, he said, Did you go and tell him what? Until what? Now, in that tarry, there was, was that time, time frame? So you go and what tarry? Was like, oh, where is the boss? The guy said, okay, well, okay, well, I'm coming, wait for me. Okay, when you come now, what kind of question is that? I've never done that kind of thing before. Wait, okay, when you come now, what kind of question is that? I said, go and wait for me. Sorry, sir, sorry, sir. I just wanted to know something like that. I said, go. So, so, so he will stay there. The man will not come today, the next day, and he will be there. Why? He's the boss. So he said, go and tarry what? Till I come. Till I come. God told me, go to winners that time. I took my sacrifice. I went to the bank, empty my account, took it to the church and drop it there. It was my money that went to the church first, my money, before I went myself. When I got there, said to me, the time it will take me to change your life, don't ask me. So when people talk to me, I just, I just, I look around, I look, I just tell you. I had money. I want to start business. Eh? He says, you go and rent a house. I said, for what? He said, for your marriage. I said, but I want to. Because I didn't want the show. I want to be having that regular. He said, I want to. And I had the money. What money was there? You know how much I rented the house? Now, let me, let me be said to you. I didn't, I didn't go there because of pride. I, I went to the altar at, at, at Zola Center. I laid down at that altar. I cried to God's God. What do I do next? As I sat down there, a voice came and said to me, oh, um, uh, um, uh, he said, in a shuba, in a shuba. I said, shuba. Your, he said, no, you know, he said, your old place, where you used to be for. I said, where you used to be? Shuba. I said, shuba. I woke up. So that's where to go and get the house. And then the house is not cheap. He knew why he was saying that you go that kind of place for house. 
He says for marriage. Now, now, as I left, as I got up, my phone was almost, almost, hallelujah, almost off, but it was down. As I owned it, I sent test to a friend that, that is no, all this house or whatever. As he got the test, Chuku, he got the test, eh? He was walking on the street. As he entered the say, he read the test, the guy that will get the house was standing, he was walking on the long street too. He was that was when he met the guy that will get the house. The guy was like this, relaxing. He said, ah, I don't get test now. Man, see the guy self. He went to the guy. You see the speed. The speed. The guy left that same. See, there's a house already. That's how God, that's how they took me there. The same day, I got the house the same day. I told the man, now nah, watch, watch. I told the man, when God does it, don't think, it's has no pride. I told the man, when I met Lana, I said, I don't give to my, I to my singles. No, nah, not, not, not being a house. But <laughs> so, it's actually his brother's house. See, I don't give my house to the singles. Because um, I don't, I want to marry people. See, but, so when they saw the way they were talking about me, they put that came with me, four of them that came. No, no, this is a pastor, winner's pastor. This is, so he now said, okay. For their sake, I will give you. Because it's trial. I hope you don't disappoint me. I said, I'm sir. He said, but first confess, Sabo, my money. Igbo man now, my money. So I said, you'll get your money by 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. I said, what? 10. I went to the bank the next day. Please, I'm talking about altars. Your words. Now, as I went to the bank the next day, I got to, uh, to GT Bank, where my bank was. I told the guy, I want to go to someone. He said, it's too high. You need to pay, five, uh, I think, 10 k to order that kind of money from the counter. He said, his money is big. I said, but I need to pay rent. He says, rent, okay, let me show I can help you. So the guy went up, did some things, and I took the money for free. I didn't pay money. And I gave her, sort out about, I gave her some, I think about four kilos of fire. I gave her, but it was more than what I'm paying. So I took, as I came out, went to the place. As I was going there, the Holy Ghost said to me, if you use this method, it will, it, you know, you told him 10 a.m. You won't walk. He was transferring, you use transfer. I said, hey. and I said, how long will it take? The guy said, but sometimes. I said, no, no, I don't like So I left the bank, went to the, I was looking for the man's bank. I saw his bank, just not too close. I entered. There was already quarter to ten. I got there, there was a queue. Suddenly again, I don't know, the lady just said, I don't think you that. <laughs> I, God is wonderful. And I dropped, they now took the money from me. He said, no, they, no, they said, no, they said, that queue is not for this and they should go that side down. This one's for tell her. I don't know how they changed the queue. So and I'm, it began only two there. One person and me at the back. My God. Because it, was, it must be ten o'clock. Now listen to me. As I paid that money for that rent, it ended at 10.00 a.m. That was the alert the man got. If you go and meet the man today, we'll show you that alert again today. It was 10.00 a.m. Look, I said that you will get your money by 10 o'clock. Why? That is the house to go to. No business. He said he led him what about? Well, like a fool. But they say every time God leaves, there is hope somewhere. Now, whatever dragged in your life, this be the name of Hallelujah, Lord. Accuracy, because God was involved. Why? The author of God was already high. I want the author of God to raise him up. So, Ba was silent, so I was very accurate in my works. Each time God's author is up, you are accurate in what you are doing. You'll be accurate in your life. Accuracy will come. Auto buys for out of errors. Each time it's up, you have errors in your life. Mistakes. Where is you going? You go and read somewhere else. That's auto buy for you. He wants to destroy. So please, prayer. They say, tarry you what? Until what? He comes. No time, no date. Yeah, January 13th. And he walks away. You start praying. You need strength to get to that place. But if you get there, the world will bow to you. Sometimes things if I don't do any work. What are you doing now? You're here to tarry. Don't, don't be bothered. Just tarry and pray. Eh? So it's time to go to your house and have a lot of prayer. If it's your bed, eh, that you know I put pillow on the wall. You know you don't sleep a lot. You can rest on the back and pray. Get all the money. Make it the first. You can, you can have two altar in your house. You call it bed altar. This is my bed altar. Use your want to say, this is my bed altar. So you come, you lay like this. That any morning, bambe be koto brade jagayabo radeke. You are what you are repairing your altar of God. You are fortifying it in prayer. If you are not praying, eh? if you are not praying, if your altar is not praying, if your altar is not having praise and worship, if your if your your you know there are three altars now. Your personal altar is down. And your physical daughter is down. Spiritual is down. That, that means your, your author of Baal will raise and rule you. What's your author of Baal? Confusion, mistakes, pain, sorrow everywhere. 
So please prayer to raise the, your altar of your body, altar, physical altar, and spiritual altar. For example, now, if I go and pray in my family house with my pastors, eh? we have, I, I, we actually have raised an altar. But it's, it's not physical, but we know that there's an altar of the family. What's up? So we can even use phone to pray. And the altar, the altar is serviced. Are you at all? That we collect phone, and all of us are in the phone, the, whatever was our day, and we'll pray. So the altar has been serviced. The priest among them will not go and release, maybe release blood to the earth physically. Because spirit of has no distance. It's called spirit of what? Altar. You can't see, but actually in existence. And why is there is fighting battles for you, Paul, the family? If it's both being serviced by praise, by prayer, regularly. Are you here at all? That's why I know this is your year. So please go back home. Eh? And repair the altar. By what? By fixing your physical, think of your physical body, praise and worship, prayer, sacrifice, that is staying long in prayer. He said, the priest shall burn the what? The wood daily. In the morning, burn the wood, the word of God, then begin to pray every day. You are a priest, Abi? You are a priest. Revelation 1 verse 5. Then number 3, prophetic decrees and blessings. Hallelujah. Altars are powered by all but not like Papa prayed over, over, over our life. You see the difference? You, when I came back, I was like, I was like, the peace, I can't explain the peace. Why? He spoke to my life. The altar set up again. The altar was arranged again by prophetic words. When they speak to your life, your altar is built up by words of power. When they say, you see power, it's a build up. You see grace to pray, that's a build up. You've not been to pray for six hours. Those are words that powers your altar of God to function because you're not going to do things beyond your word yourself. So when you repair the altar, happen if you call, go on here. Fire will not come down. What will happen? They will say the Lord word is God. Until fire comes, they will not say the Lord is God. And fire will come when the altar of God is already up. When it's repaired. Why do you want to but don't bother don't bother about any, any, any altar? There's one altar on the earth the highest. That's out of the cross. Once you repair the altar of God, eh, you are in dominion. So be concerned about the altar of God and the altar of the devil. But we have to pray this morning. Eh, that prayer because we need, to, we need to subdue the first prayers. But once you can repair the altar of God, you are, in, you are in command. So this year, please, take care of what? Your personal altar, physical altar, and spiritual altar. Don't joke with them. Receive prophetic word. Same place and worship, worship God. Regardless, the guy who does an anal motina, he graduates. And that the word of God don't go open anymore. He, this, because he raised the earth of God. Out of power was destroyed. The earth of power make him jobless or destroyed. He now had a job that, that was that glorified his life. So this year, I join you. Please, please, I join you. Please, I join you. Repair the earth of God. Make your body what? Leave you what? Sacrifice to God. Have an altar of prayers. Carry your prayer, please. Now, like I told you, anything that will not let you close your mouth, eh? Has to be part of what? To pray. Are you here at all? Yes. Anything you are doing that won't allow you, that won't hold your mouth, has given you right to pray. Anything you are doing, like your worship plate, eh, whether you are driving, anything you are doing that will not hold your mouth, has given you power to pray. That's why I say pray without what? Season. Men, what? Ought. All to what? Pray, not to what? Friend. That means if you are not praying, you are friend. What do you friend? I said friend is what? Life what? Life support. Life what? Life support. If you are not praying, life support. Because that's your friend. Like that, that's, that, they are holding you like this. They are carrying you like this. Like this. They are holding, holding you. Life support means you are not praying. Fainting. You are, fainting means you are always falling. They, what, you don't want me to faint? Can you understand why you are fainting? You are falling. Like, faint means to fall. If, if, if I want to, are, are you okay again? Are you okay again? No. See my father, the God this year. Pour me the spirit of grace and prayer, 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 and hallelujah. Pour me to, to raise up the altar of God in my life. To quench all the waters. Once the, once the altar of God is up, they are, they are all down. Because God came to Elijah. Because God, Elijah, you know, like God, Elijah wanted to repair the altar of his altar. So he came close to watch if he, if he would still do it. 
that coming close made bar. Eh? You know, remember, 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 remember then God, then God, yes. When God came, then God was broken to pieces. So when God had an, they, they are about to repair his altar, he came closer. That coming close made their, made bar to sink. Did he run away? So when they tried and tried, bar didn't, bar didn't talk, he didn't come up. They began to cut themselves. God was there already. Because he knew they were about to repair his altar. He wants to come down. He was in a hurry to come down. When you want, when you, when you now decide to carry God up, it's already close to you already. They called themselves to worship the altar of Baal. God was there. For altar Baal. The altar Baal has already taken off. It was already gone. Already gone. Because God was there waiting for them to repair. And when they repaired, the Bible said, Esh Oda fell down. Jehovah Esh Oda. He came down and consumed the place. Esh Oda. He's going to come down now as we pray right now. See my father, my God. My father, my God. My Ray Kula By the anointing. On my life, on my feet, I sanctify myself, hallelujah. I repair it on my body today as I take the communion in my home this evening. I also sanctify myself, hallelujah. I put on your glory, I put on your glory. Beginning from now, I wear you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. My Yakatura, praying the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. Build up your altar. Then they will bow. Stay on the altar. God is coming. When they come, they will bow. Maybe you have lost your job two times. Three times come for an altar. Don't worry. Keep praying. God is coming. Your God is coming. Look up. Your God is coming. Maybe you are, they are troubling your life now because your altar, your, 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 you look tired. Continue. The God is coming. Keep fixing your altar of your body, of your temple. Or the physical, spiritual, maintain them very well, service them very well in prayers in the world. Come and take a prophetic word, service them well. Just keep waiting for God, He's coming. All your mockers, leave them alone. All those altar, leave, all, leave them. All those altar poverty, leave them. Poverty altar, leave them. Keep saying, God is coming. God is coming. When He lands, He said, The silver is mine, the gold is mine. My God, my Rokulaya, my God is coming. My God is coming. This year, I mean, I'm it's coming. Hallelujah. He's coming. He's coming. Don't mind the altars that be. But build up this altar. Hallelujah. We will stay in prayer. We will turn in prayer. We will talk to our God. We will praise our God. We will stay in our God. We will build up in our God. He's coming to us. He's coming to us. We don't mind the altars. Our God is coming. Our God is coming. His fire is coming. He will devour. He will devour at once. He will consume at once. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Can't you know Tarry here, he says. Fix your altars. Fix your altars in prayers. In prison, watch. Fix your altars. Don't murmur. Keep on. The Bible says, regards Abraham, a man of altar, he was strong in praise. He was, he was servicing God, his altar with blood and giving praise to God. The Bible says, when the time came, God came down to him and said, woman, at your 90 age, I've come down now. I've come down now. I don't care what they have done to your womb. All these years, the altar spoke his life. You couldn't bear, but I've come down now. That dead body, I've come down for it. That dead business, I've come down now. It doesn't matter how much shareable can to the that is. It's coming. Keep the altar on, like your father Abraham. He sacrificed at the altar. He was old. He was being mocked. Imagine God saying, you are no father of my nation. I'm no child. He was being mocked. But they kept on the altar. He didn't care the altar of bar. He kept on his own altar. He kept his body very pure. My rack and infonicate. He kept his body pure, pure. He kept the Bible says he was strong in feet. Giving glory to God. I was cutting altars of altars. Blow upon blow the altars. I he continued keeping his altar and his body. And where at the appointed time. He said, Tarry here, he says. Tarry, keep on your praise. Keep on your prayer and your 
sacrifice of money, your seed, your sacrifice of service in the choir, in prayer band. He said, keep on your service. I am coming to you. Forget your turn against your life. I'm coming to you. When I come, they will bow to you. When I arrive, it will change for you. Hallelujah. I'm coming. Hallelujah. I'm the ancient of days. I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. I'm breaking the chains. The Bible says your God breaks the chains. Hallelujah. Mashekulabandia, they tied down Paul and Silas. The Bible says they didn't complain. They went back to tarry prayer. They began to pray and they sang to God. They raised up the altar of God again and God came down in power. And sh- my God, my Lord, I'm coming down like this. Paul and Silas. I'm coming down. Build your altar. Stay in prayer. Hold on the word of God. Mashekulabandia. Lady Kalabandia. Stay in your God. Your God is coming. Stay in your God. He's very close. It's your year. Stay in your God. Stay in His service. Marokulabandia. He's coming to you. He's coming to you. And Abraham stayed on the fair. He was strong in faith. Your father Abraham was strong in faith. Sacrificing altars. He was not tired. They mocked him. They, they mocked him. In fact, God went and added, added, added it to him. He said, go and change your name now from Abraham to Abraham. Uh, God, I don't have a child now. What, is, what kind of embarrassment is this? I say, that's your name. He went and told him, Abraham. He, he didn't hide it. He went and shouted this. The mockery increased. We, they, you don't have a child. You're, you're changing your name to him. What is wrong with this man? He was mockery. But in all, he was waiting for God. Hallelujah. Tarry here. He stayed in holiness. Tarry in holiness. Stay in your holiness. Keep on. Keep on. There's a hope coming. Keep on. Tarry in your holiness. Build the altar of God. Maintain. Guide your body. Maintain the altar of God. Your service. Go don't come down in service. Maintain the service to God. Maintain. I'm here to answer. He's coming to you this year. He's come by his mighty hand. When he came down, Abraham, mother, Abraham, wife conceived with old age, dead body. Because God came down. He's coming. God cannot be too late. No, 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 he's coming down. When it comes, that's your time. I came to tell you, your God is coming this year. Maintain the heart of God. Keep the heart holy. Pray, Marokulaya. Keep on, Marokulabandia. As is Zukulabanda says. Malekulabanda is it. He did a Kalabandia. Malabanda Kayosos. Kalosai. So, Father, my God, every altar. Of the devil, don't let me serve God. Keep the heart of God properly. Today, by the blood, I judge that altar today. My deliverer, hallelujah. I'm delivered. I'm delivered into serving God. I'm delivered with my all to serve God. Every heart of sin against life is so in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Out of the good name of Hallelujah. But let's go by the blood today. God's hand is released. Hallelujah. This year of His hand, you do what I was in life. Hallelujah. Finally, in the life. Hallelujah. He will do signs of life. Hallelujah. How to be every against the enemies this year? They will drop down dead. Hallelujah. They are, they are already dropping now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. You will hear news from your village. People are going down for your sake. You will rise this year. This church will rise this year. Beyond measures. That will shock me. From the corner of corners, our rising begins this year. It begins this year. The grace and ability to take action is in the name of Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time for faith and works. This is the name of Hallelujah. This is the name of Hallelujah. Thank you for prayer. Hallelujah, Lord. In Jesus' name, Hallelujah. Out of praise, out of what God. Hallelujah. Let's praise God as we. Friend of Hallelujah, the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Choir, please join us. Just take us in praise. When I call, you answer me. When I'm down, you give me up. My son of help, only you are my helper. My son of help, only you are my helper. My son of help, only you are my helper. My son of help, only you are my helper. Hallelujah. It's your year, hallelujah. Your year of power. Your year of power. Your year of power. Your year of power. Your year of riches. 
and of wisdom and strength, of glory, honor, and blessings. Your years with of power, might, and wisdom. Knowing and understanding. Counseling and might. Fear of God, hallelujah. The Lord bless you and keep you, hallelujah. The Lord come into your home, hallelujah. And help you to finish well, hallelujah. The Lord bless and keep us. You are going from strength to strength. It's your year of glory. It's your year of honor. Fortune has come to your house already. And just for the name of the Lord, hallelujah, Lord. You are blessed, hallelujah. You are blessed, hallelujah. Some blessed of God. I come because every other against my life, they have been crushed for my life. And I'm free, hallelujah. It's, I'm, I'm, I prosper in all I do from now. In the name of the Lord, hallelujah. I live my life seeing every day the evidence of the hand of God in my life, hallelujah. You are blessed, hallelujah. And surely God's goodness and mercy are with us all the days of our life. And the presence of forever. Amen. Peace. I shower. I go to bed. And God will speak to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.